Hi everyone, so today is going to be how I clean my charms. Now I've been kind of reluctant to do this video because my way is no different from most people's ways but people always want me to do this video so I thought I'd show you my way of doing it, maybe it might differ slightly. But yeah, so I have this charm here that I got, I made from a tutorial from my friend Louise, Lilac Sprinkles here on YouTube and I'll leave the link on the in the description and on the screen. So I purposely made this really dirty, you probably can't see. Let's have a look, there we go, Oh, look how grim that is. <laughs> I made it really, really dirty, so I probably won't actually be able to get it completely clean, which is a bit of a shame, but yeah, so I made it really, really dirty, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now, the thing that I use is this, which is the Boots own brand Clean Off Nail Polish Remover. Sorry, I've got paint on my hands. Um, you actually, it's probably best to use just straight acetone or rubbing alcohol, but it's such a pain for me to get hold of. So literally just find the cheapest nail varnish remover you could possibly find because it's going to be really, really high in acetone. I don't know if it says on the back, um, but it should it should be really high in acetone if it's really, really cheap because acetone's not actually that the best for your nails. But yeah, so that's what I use. And I also use... Um, these q-tips and a blade if if necessary so I'll just show you how I do it so obviously I like to put it into the lid and then all you want to do is obviously take your q-tip make it damp and then if I show you if it focuses there we go what you want to do is just keep rubbing and you should see that the colour is coming off so you need to be careful between colours but you can obviously just wipe the colour off as well but yellow is definitely the worst I'd say um, but obviously you're taking the, the top like few layers of the polymer clay off which obviously are the ones with the dirt on so all you want to do is just keep just keep rubbing and you can see the dust coming off and you just have to sort of like peel it, not peel it but rub it off um, it's probably best once it gets really colourful to use the other end. Now as you can see from this charm you may be left with some residue on the back as you can see it's on my fingers which is obviously just the clay. Now what you want to do is just wash this off. This can be a bit difficult with um, more delicate charms um, but usually like they won't, they won't be this dirty so you won't have this much left over. But all you want to do is just wash it under a sink. So after you've done that, all you want to do is repeat the step if it's necessary. Obviously my charm is really, really dirty, so I'm going to repeat the step. But if you don't need to, then obviously yay for you. Um, so once, even if you don't have the residue that I showed you earlier, you it is best to clean the charm after you've done the um, acetone or the nail varnish removal, whatever you want to use. Um, because if you want to glaze the charm, the glaze will react with the acetone because it's a lot like paint. And um, that's obviously how you can also get paint off charms with nail varnish remover and acetone, that kind of thing. So just give it a good clean before you do anything to it, paint it, that kind of thing. It's just going to make it easier and not ruin your charm. So I'm going to give this another go and then I'll show you how clean it is. So what you can do with the blade is that you can gently scratch away at the surface as well. Um, it doesn't matter too much if you start to make actually a dent because obviously you can go over with the acetone and smooth everything out again. But if you just lightly go over at a certain angle with your blade and just sort of bring the clay up, you can get rid of the dust that's kind of embedded because obviously the acetone is good but then the clay starts to run with the colours and stuff like that so it just depends on your preference really I don't really use a blade much but as you can see it is helpful so this is the finished product it's obviously not perfectly clean because I did make it super super dirty but as you can see most of the dirt is gone it looks really nice and then you can obviously finish painting and glazing and such so I hope you like this video and obviously you can use this um, I forgot to mention kind of earlier but you can use this if you've painted on a face on your charm and you don't like the way it looks you can literally use acetone and just rub it off like that um, it's really amazing stuff and obviously it cleans everything so thanks for watching bye